So welcome back guys. This is really one of the great successes of our homesteading or uh, self-sufficiency endeavors, I guess you could say. This is my wife's herb garden and we've attempted herb gardens in the past, but this is really the most successful one that we've had. And I hope that you can see this, but we've got oregano over here that didn't actually do so good. We've got sage over here, which didn't do great either. Uh, we've got these marigolds, which are not herbs, but this right here is the biggest success. We've got cilantro and basil right here. We're gonna pick some of this basil. So we're gonna take a few of these leaves off maybe 50 percent of the leaves or so and uh, i really i don't know if these grow back do they regenerate uh, let me know down in the comments if these things will regenerate because we really have very very little experience uh, doing this kind of stuff That's pretty good, let's do some replanting. I wanna replant the sage here, and it says that you're supposed to plant this stuff indoors six to eight weeks or something, or eight to 10 weeks rather, before outside planting time. And we did not do that, ooh, that's a lot. We didn't do that on these two plants. There were actually several more seeds that were supposed to come up in here. They just didn't. I really don't know why. But <clears throat> the ones that did come up uh, did pretty good, even though we didn't plant them uh, inside first. We're gonna replant the oregano right here. The oregano, we struggled with it some because uh, number one, these are the tiniest seeds that I have ever seen in my life. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that's probably that's probably a good 30 seeds right there. So this is kind of a difficult thing to plant. Only two of them ended up coming up, uh, possibly three, I'm not sure. Right after we did the initial planting, we had a, uh, well, that looks like there's one right there, maybe four. But right after we planted, we had a flood, basically. It was about seven inches of rain. And uh, it looks like some of the seeds may have been washed out. Some of them went into, uh, into the other spots as well and i had to transplant one back into this box but uh, this is kind of a challenge to do here put a little bit of dirt on top of that and, and hope that works out and get some water on it quick it's probably way too much dirt actually Now that that's taken care of, I have got an extra special treat for the pigs. Let's go surprise them. So in the last video, I asked for some advice on what to put in my fly traps around the pig pen here, and I did get some advice. One person told me to use apple cider vinegar, which is exactly what we use in the house for fruit flies, but this is just apple cider vinegar with just a little bit of dish soap in it. Somebody else suggested that I use water, sugar, a little bit of soap and uh well that right there so and you can see that's exactly what i've done here that's just water soap sugar and uh <laughs> pig waste really and i don't know how well it's going to work in this green bottle right here we just happen to have a mountain dew bottle sitting around we'll um come back later and see how it does it's probably one of those things that takes a few days to kind of get going that, pit, that turd has probably got to sit in there and fester with the rest of the water for the for a while in the heat so that it gets just nasty enough for the flies to like it so We'll come back later today and see how it does, but it'll probably take a few days. I'm gonna go plant some tomatoes and I need some fertilizer.
You saw in the last video, I got the potatoes harvested out of the garden and that's left a pretty big bare spot in the garden and it's a perfect spot, a really nice sunny spot to put some more tomatoes and some more corn. So these rows here are actually pretty well broken up because when I dug the potatoes a couple of days ago, it of course broke up the dirt pretty good. What I'm gonna try to do is even out these rows because you can see that the potato hills are still kind of there and I really need uh, to have level ground for corn and uh, tomatoes here. Knew this was gonna happen, more potatoes. So our tomatoes this year have uh, really kind of been a struggle. The ones that we already have planted have suffered from, I, I'm pretty sure it's just lack of water. Um, they've got those tarps over them, and once the water gets down into those tarps, uh, it holds moisture pretty well actually, but uh, the trouble is uh, getting it down into the tarps, and we actually left and went on vacation not long ago and stayed away for a week, and when we left, I soaked it down really, 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 really good, hoping that that would kind of hold it for the week, but trouble was it didn't rain any that week either, and it has not rained in a long time here, and our original tomatoes are looking pretty bad, and some of them have already died, so, uh, we're going to start over with a couple of better boy plants. Those were big boy plants as well, which are not as resistant to nematodes and uh, stuff like that. And I've been having trouble with blight as well. And uh, it's kind of been a struggle with the tomatoes this year. So we're going to plant these two better boys away from the other plants. Hopefully there's no blight in this area and hopefully I can keep it under control when it gets here. So y'all remember I've planted the corn before with one of those Earthway planters and it, it works okay. It's fairly inconsistent. It doesn't scoop up the seeds all the time and sometimes it scoops up two seeds and deposits them in one spot and it's just, it's just not particularly consistent. So that's why I'm gonna do it by hand this time. And I got a really good surprise when I looked at my seed collection. I've got a little seed collection we keep in kind of a back corner of the refrigerator. And I was going for the Silver Queen corn and I found a little bag of Silver King corn. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's get this in the ground. And I always like to be super, super consistent on my spacing on this corn. That's why I use these, this New Balance corn spacer. So I've got a really good situation right now. The radar is looking like within the next 30 minutes, possibly we're gonna have some rain. It's already thundering. So I wanna get some fertilizer on the existing corn and get that hoed in, get it side dressed. So let's run up to the house and get that and I'll be right back.
So that's going to do it for this. This is the second batch of corn right here, and it's looking it's looking all right, I guess. I'm hoping that'll boost it a little bit and get it on up there. And I'm thinking what I just did will knock a lot of those weeds back and give all the corn a boost. That's the first batch of corn right in here that I planted. And if we go over here, that's actually the same stuff right there. That's the same exact batch. I think it's suffering right there from a fertilizer problem and possibly a sunlight problem as well. I'm not totally sure. It's not water. It's getting pretty plenty of water from the sprinklers but uh, anyway half of this row looks great the other half is uh, not so much all right it is time uh, to get all my tools and seeds and everything else up and the rain is really right on top of us here I don't know if it's gonna hold off much longer or not but if it does hold off we'll go check our fly traps Here's our apple cider vinegar one and it hasn't caught anything yet. I'm not gonna say it hasn't caught anything. I'm just gonna say it hadn't caught anything yet. I'm holding out hope. Let's look at the other one. And this one appears like it has, it has caught some. And there's a curious one on the ledge right there. So it's kind of hard to tell with all the chunks of stuff in there, but it looks like it's caught nine or 10 so far. And there's some curious ones up on the ledge as well. They need some food. Um, so yeah, whoever, whoever told me that, whoever gave me that suggestion, thanks. Hopefully as it gets nastier and nastier, it will, um, it'll do better and get some more in there. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I got to give the pig some more food and uh, I will see y'all on the next one. I appreciate you watching.